NerdsReviews.com presents Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops. Gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Laura, Marie, and I'm Lafayette. Another Friday. Welcome to the show. Wow. Good times. Good times. Anything interesting happened this weekend? Anything? No? Anything? Yeah. Oh, yeah? What happened? Yeah. I saw a horror movie. Oh, yeah. He did see a horror movie. That's right. Yeah. He did see a horror it's movie. It's called Long Legs. Long Legs. Oh, and? Laura yeah. so wants to know about Let me this. tell you why it's called a horror movie. Oh, he yeah, hits horror. It is because scary. I was horrified that I had to spend money on this piece of shit movie. You were so looking forward to it. What a bummer! Only because Lafayette hyped it loser, up, and right? you guys were like, He's "Oh, such Rotten a loser." Tomato, Eighty-seven. It was eighty-eight percent by the time when we went. By the time we talked about it, it was a hundred. That's right. What a shit movie. Oh boy. Let me what tell made you. it? Sh- what made it shitty? Everything. It was stupid. The characters were stupid. The movie was trying so hard to be a Silence of the Lambs type movie, and then it had some sort of supernatural thing going on. And then the the genius FBI person couldn't figure out what was happening in time enough to stop the last crime. It was so dumb. It was so stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, apologize, Laura. Apologize. I feel bad America. for him. He was excited. He paid money. He took such time. An yeah, I, tried, I wanted I tried to, to see, warn him. Fly me to the idiot. moon, but someone wanted to see long legs, and stupid. we went to long legs stupid. and fly me to the moon. Stupid. Uh, what did you think, Lafayette? Did you watch it? It's very slow. It's very, very <laughs> so slow. same. Same. I wasn't disappointed as much, but I was like, uh, like. It, it, zero horror fact, zero anything fact, no suspense, nothing, mm. because it's so slow. So does the, the the suspense that you maybe some maybe people go, oh man, this this movie's dreadful. No, it's too oh, slow to be dreadful. It's just a slow. It's I told Carlos, remember Deb from um from Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon. Okay, now imagine mm-hmm. she's the lead detective. That's how awkward the detective is. Okay, so you got Deb as a detective, and then you have a ton of shots where it's just that one person that's it in every shot to try to build up like there's some type of suspense but As there's artsy, nothing long long shots for no reason more God, or less yeah shit. and then and then nothing happens yeah. and then that's how it is for like 80 percent of the movie and that's how they think suspense works like <laughs> no suspense works like if i'm in a room by myself and i hear a noise and all of a sudden a dildo flies across the room I'm like what the fuck and then i'm like wait oh I, that's where i put it and then my mom's like, put your shit away. That's suspenseful. So got it. Got it. Well, you. did you at least get some popcorn while you were there? We so didn't know because we, we ate a lot beforehand. We ate a lot. We went to totally. Wait, you guys saw it. Mexican you guys restaurant. saw it together and didn't invite me. Yeah, we, we were no, in we didn't invite you. We weren't, close, we weren't even close to you. No. No. I could have came. We were doing a comic book convention ask- out of town. You were going to wanted- drive like an hour and a half to watch a movie. With you, of course. Oh, sure. I know, man. I'm a number one fan. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm on the show and I'm your number one fan. Number one Ironic. fan. Ironic. Stalker. Um, but yeah, the movie's not. It's like like Nick Cage. People say, Oh my god, he's so good because he's terrifying. No, no, he's not. He's, he's terrifying because <laughs> the makeup was so bad. It was shit makeup. He, he looks, yeah, it looks it like he was so went, stupid. Like, it was like he he was went wearing somewhere a and- Timu. Joker mask, like a no, Heath Ledger, Timu like, Joker mask. It's like he went to somebody like before Halloween. I want to be Joker tomorrow. You got it, buddy. Remember, I'm blind. That's fine. It's fine. Do your best. <laughs> like, and they like, did it last October. He kept it on this whole time. Yeah, it's like that's how bad yeah, it looks. That's how it looks. It looks like it's like his kind of looks like his face is melting at point at some point. Like, yeah, yeah. The premise is just yeah. No. Did anybody else? Okay, when I say anybody else, I guess I mean Marie, because I don't think anybody else would feel this way. Did anybody else think that Nick Cage was hot when they were a kid? No. (laughs) No? Just a me thing? Okay. 
just came. Blair Underwood was really good in it. Too. Oh yeah, Blair Underwood was excellent in the movie. Matter of fact, the acting yeah. is good in it. Movie sucks. That's it. A good acting can't save a bad movie. This this is what it is. Like truth. Every oh. I mean, there isn't really any bad act. I mean, Nick Cage isn't acting bad. He just has bad makeup. It's just not a good movie. And comparing it to Silence of the Lambs, utterly ridiculous. Just I feel uh, just, like they probably shot themselves in the foot with that because that's a. That's a but that's a marketing comparison. ploy, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a you know. So, um, so what you, Lord, uh, I should say, Marie, what do you think the movie's about? Long legs. Um, well, there's a serial murderer, and he's not just a murderer. He's he eats people's shit, and. Um, they're trying to catch him and Nick Cage is the shit eater. But then there's like a Clarice type and she wants to know why. Oh, the other murderer is eating and drinking piss or something. I don't know. Sounds like the movie is shit, right? So they're all eating shit. That would have been a better movie. That would have been a that's, much, yeah, that's quite interesting. <laughs> much better movie. <laughs> I was trying to think of something that was more disgusting than cannibalism, and I think eating poop would probably be that. Well, here's the thing: mm. you just you're taking Silence of the Lambs and and thinking, okay, well, it has to be something like nobody gets eaten in this movie. There's nobody eating anybody. There's no cannibalism. There's Damn Satanism. It. Okay, there's Satanism, but there's no cannibalism. There's there's dolls. So there's poop that. Do dolls scare you? No poop eating. No, no, no poop eating. Um, there's a, there's a supernatural element to the movie. Um, there's no supernatural elements in Silence of the Lambs. So exactly. Are you, are you understanding yeah. now? The, 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 those two movies are not alike whatsoever. So. No, and there's the like a Joker mask. That doesn't even trying make to sense. find the serial killer. Yeah, and then and not even the FBI trying to find the serial killer. Hey, this is your task. Nobody's gonna help you. <laughs> that's that's literally it. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Just figure it out by yourself. And then when you get any clues, we're gonna act like okay, we're gonna get you some backup. And then we, ah, you got this. You got this. Okay, you I'm just... reading the synopsis. Mm -hmm. It says the woman swiftly connects similarities between the victims. Each had at least one year, nine year old daughter born on the 14th of the month. I think that any detective would notice that pretty fucking fast. If you're she does. No, for... she does. <laughs> but she that's does. what I'm saying. Why is she so special? Be because the supernatural element that you don't know about. Oh, you know? my Lord. That's mm -hmm. so cheesy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't make that's why. Stuff. That's why. I think it takes place in Oregon. Yeah, it does. It takes place in a lot of, a lot of spooky that things. Makes it takes place sense. in the early 90s. Just Clinton it is. President. It is in the 90s, yeah. It's a nice. So they really tried to make it as much as like Silence of the Lambs, except for the whole thing. Supernatural. No, the whole thing. There's nothing like Silence of the Lambs. There's nothing like Silence. Any so, it's yeah, basically it's like marketing. a. It's like if somebody said, "Here, Silence of the Lambs, your budget is a hundred million, and go make this other movie for five million dollars. Do your best, but so try basic, to try to keep up." Yeah. So basically, the similarity to Silence of the Lambs is that there is a female FBI agent. Yes. And that is where the similarity is. At. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Yep. You got to yep. you got to dig deep because women don't do anything. Women are stupid. That's correct. Except that's for be yep. sexy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or be lesbians. We don't know. Oh, that's oh, it? Wait a second. That sounds great. Took... That sounds nice. How about a look sexy how lesbian? They took this week. We don't have those. We only have butch agents. lesbians. We've been over through. Oh, God. Are we going to talk about that? First of oh. all, it was the female Secret Service agent's fault. That whole thing. It was her fault. That's how they're, that's how they're putting it. I, I mean, they Wait, are. Time they're, out. They're making... Time out. <laughs> time out. What happened? Where were you? This... <laughs> what? Did you not hear about the attempted assassination attempt on Donald Trump? No? Marie's like, nope. No, I don't know about it. Right now. What happened this week? What happened this week in Secret Service <laughs> female? I'm still stuck on the poop shit. Oh. But it's not real. You made it up. Uh, what? Corporophilia? Corporophasia. Anyway, yeah, um, no. So no, they can't be secret service. Asia. They can only be sexy lesbians, apparently. So no, they're. We, what are we talking we, about? Women, just women in general. They can't. They, they shouldn't I have jobs. Just, I or, was or trying to die. make the point that in <laughs> Hollywood, you can only be a sexy woman who wants to get boned all the yeah, time. Yeah. Alla, the sexy so lady in what was it? The what was the Top Henry Gun Cavill? Maverick. Henry Cavill, uh, uh, ungentlemanly warfare. Oh, ungentlemanly so, woman. Yes. So that's like the prototype are, yeah. for like woman A. Hi. Hell yeah. And then is. wait a second. Woman, She's the prototype. Woo. Woman yeah. B is uh -huh. the awkward, smart, 
you know, kind of oh, butch yes. Per- yes. woman no, who is a lesbian. She's chapped. Oh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Like, you can only be one or the other. That was the point I was trying to make. And then Lafayette very smartly. Well, this one in with his FBI or Secret Service service mm-hmm. agent. Yeah. Well, well, the thing is, the um, one in uh, long legs, she yep. was awkward, smart. Definitely a lesbian then. Mm, I well, <laughs> we get nothing out of that beyond not the that, down. but she's definitely introverted and doesn't do well with men just by the way she looks. Like she doesn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in Hollywood, that's what well, it is. Uh, but she doesn't come off as lesbian. She just comes no, she off. At, you kind of get her just, background like what she did was Clarice sheltered. Come off as. Oh, total lesbian. Dyke. Bad ass bitch is what she came off it. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter what her sexuality was. She was just I'll, okay. Awesome I'll and tell you the biggest difference and... between. But also, she had a thing with the Crawford, the her older boss. But I'll tell you the difference they between between Clarice and I think it's May, right? Is it May Harkin? I think it's that's her name. Lee Lee. Oh, Harkin. Lee Harkin. Lee Harker. Lee Harker. Lee Harker and uh, um, Clarice. The difference is Clarice needs the help of a of a crazy serial killer. Lee needs no help. She solves this she has shit. Psychic because ability. She, She's a little she bit eats psychic. Poop and it gives her psychic abilities. You making a movie up that no one watched? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> we're, we're improving. Long poops. <laughs> That's, anyway, so, yeah. So, anyway, this sat, past Saturday, somebody tried to kill Donald Trump, Marie, if you didn't know that. No, uh, I shit. think I did. <laughs> you you tried to do it or you heard about it? Oh, my God. Uh, I have... No comment. I, I have been following it like a mad person oh like, we I'm, got a, we I'm got a sleuth on our hands and... no Go i'm ahead, not sleuth. a sleuth i just want to know all the things because i know how much bullshit is going to spiral out of control right that's fast. why i just like i'm not interested in it because i don't want to hear all the crazy stories that i don't want the crazy shit and, i just want oh my the God. verifiable facts so you're not gonna I get can... it you're not gonna get it i feel like i've, I've got what's as close well, I mean, that's the thing. Are you a conspiracy minded person or are you kind of more of a fact person? You mean fact person? And I'm yeah. a fact person. And so I say fact for what's... You said fact, right? I'm a fat person <laughs> who likes fact. Oh, oh wow. Feet. Sounds like Eminem's uh, album now. <laughs> but yeah, so I've just been madly digging into all this just so I can uh, arm myself against the craziness that is inevitably going to come my way from my family members. Oh, that's true. You have a, you have some nut jobs in there yeah. that are probably going to say they wanted this done. And when you ask who they is, it's a deep state. It's always a deep state. Global the elite, state. deep state, one world that's government. Right. That's I right. Know. I don't know who these people are. They, they're they. Come on. Probably the Jews. I don't know. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> maybe. It's maybe. what conspiracy theories usually boil down to. Oh, uh, it always yeah, comes back to the Jews. It? What are the Jews called? They call it the world, world, um, one uh, world or, or old, uh, new, new world, world order. order. Something like that. Yeah. It's yep. code. It's, it's yep. a dog whistle. Uh, they're all, it's not a dog whistle. It's literally like, if you look into it, it's there. It's not, Carlos, yeah, it used to be a dog whistle. Now it's just so obvious. that Carlos, who, who is the NWO? Oh, Hulk Hogan? Is, uh-huh. that, is that what we're talking about? Yep. Kevin Nash. Yeah. Kevin Nash. Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon. There you go. And then there's the NWA. The, oh, the NWA, the new the new wrestling alliance. Yes. Yes. Good call. Oh, are we talking about Easy e Ice Cube? Are we talking about, yeah. We're talking about, oh, we're talking about, oh, we're talking about, oh, yeah, yeah. MC Ren. Yeah, okay. Yep. I'm, yep. Not, I'm not allowed to say Yellow that. Boy. <laughs> Yellow Boy. Yep. Yellow Boy. Yellow Boy. Dr. Dre. Did somebody say Dr. Dre? I drade. I drade. I you drade? drade? Good, good. But yeah, no, the shooting attempt. Well, where were you, Laura, when you when you heard about that attempt? I was at a birthday party. Oh, okay. You guys were celebrating already, huh? Or a little, little premature. <laughs> and then uh on the way home, I was I guess I I was driving, so I couldn't Google, but then as soon as I came home, I put the kid to bed. I'm like ninja ninja thumbs, like finding all of the things, checking like hourly on the updates tracking twitter like all the crazy fucking shit that people were saying on twitter it was interesting very much yeah very very interesting yeah does anybody have any theories about who this guy is because i have theories yeah i Mm. i I have yeah i have a theory no idea that he's basically a um introvert loser that wanted to be infamous that's what that was his goal that's about his only goal his goal yep. was to be infamous because when you're picked on your whole life, fuck you, you're going to remember me, watch this shit, boom, I'm fucking famous forever now. That and now, is my theory as well. Yeah, and you know what the sad part is? 
no one will remember him now after like whatever. It would be. Didn't, didn't he get How was that months. sad? Fuck him. No, no, no. I mean, sad <laughs> in the sense of like my goal was to be infinite. You fucking missed and then yeah. you're dead. Now yeah. no one's going to ever remember you at all. Just your parents and maybe your two friends, which were probably cats that already died that you buried in the backyard. So uh, there's nothing I agree. wrong with having best friends as cats. I think that he was a total loner weirdo who just like was not really a politically affiliated and just wanted to commit suicide in a very spectacular manner. Hundred percent. Like question, think, question, think, sui- think like school shooter, but just on a presidential candidate. How come women never do this? Oh, that's an easy answer. The trigger is <laughs> too hard to pull back. <laughs> ben, yeah, Carlos, the, the mall's hey, the mall's <laughs> open. There's other things to do. <laughs> Isn't I there mean, a vacuum that's somewhere true. that's lonely? Oh, shut up. I think there's a lot of reasons why women do that don't do this kind of shit. It's like the lack of testosterone, the I mean the lack of like anger, the need to lash out. And the lack of um, not giving a fuck about these type of things. Improved um uh, social networks that men don't have. Also oh, also when women walk into a gun I like store. Laura. I like Laura. When when, when women <laughs> walk into a gun store, what are you doing here? Get out. And then they just walk, they just leave. That's not true. Yeah, well, I've oh. been to guns. What are it? They want to help you. They're like, "Hey, little lady." That is true. Can I help? Because it's almost like a girl that walks to a comic book store. Like, totally. they, uh, honestly, yeah. right away, oh, I'm gonna press her. Watch, come yeah. here. Let me show you about this tech nine, and then yep. let me show you this round that do this. Ooh, I like, like the tech nine. They, they talk all like they technical, and and they think like you're impressed, and you're just like, just give me some I can shoot my husband with. Well, look, I was <laughs> at a shooting range two weeks ago. And there was a woman next to me. She was with a friend, a guy. Anyway, when it was her turn up, I was just kind of watching her target. I don't think she hit the goddamn target. Why? I was watching the bullets. I mean, you can hear the bang. You can hear the bangs, right? But (laughs) you know, there was no holes in the target. I'm like, (laughs) what's going on right now? (laughs) You want to move it closer and closer? And close it. You know how she was. I can't say anything. I'm Do you know how good he that. felt? He proposed right afterwards, going, I'm safe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ain't I'm safe. Kill me. You can do what I want. I'm a terrible <laughs> shot. If you're not like freaking five feet in front of me, you're not nothing. <laughs> you don't have nothing to worry about. It is well, true. Was five yards away and she wasn't hitting it. I'm like, oh man. Women, five yards? That you, is pretty bad. Open that your is eyes. Bad. Women, you're right. Women don't. Well, first of all, there's not a lot of assassination attempts we hear about, but. I don't think there's ever been recorded one where it's a woman tried it, like on a That's on a on a on a it's you know prominent figure. Of course, they've murdered their spouses. Sure, whatever. Because it has to be personal, I think, for women. Exactly, and there's nothing there, right? There's nothing there. Yeah, like you said. I mean, I hundred percent agreement. He did this shit out of his own, you know, his own um, need to be someone, to be something, to feel important in some regard. So, but yeah. why did he go after Donald Trump and not anyone else? It's a great question. That's what we're that's, all trying to figure that's out. That's the final, that's the big final uh, hundred thousand dollar question. So that's it right there. I mean, he's a re- he was a registered Republican that had Trump signs also, on his front yard. Oh, and then this was this one. He Uh-oh. donated like fifteen dollars to a Democratic so uh, have a pack. political actual yeah, action committee yeah. and like that one like kind of got me in the heart because i was like he's just a fucking kid he doesn't have any fucking he has money no clue he, he has so no clue. Young. you know he, he took his you know he took his parents like credit card for that and his yeah. dad smacked him in the back of the head what yeah. the fuck do you do that yeah. for we don't support abortion i'm gonna kill trump what'd you say son well oh. no it's his dad what I, one of his parents is a libertarian and the other one is a republican or yeah. was it a democrat yeah. no, it's a republican it? Probably. It was repu- Oh, we have a conflicting. No, it's it's Republican. Info. Well, according to uh, his, the neighbors, they had Trump signs all over the front yard. One of the parents Ooh, had missed, to been a Trump person. That one is that fake news? Everything's fake news. This it show's not even real. Is. Here's some fake news for you. Oh, all these idiots that keep spreading this goddamn picture around that an angel saved Trump because a flag pulled it up and looked like an we'll angel. Put it on Okay, oh, oh, you look my at God. Your goddamn when you look at the flag, thing. it's clearly straight. When he's lift, raising his fist, you can clearly see that it's straight. It's not. Do you want to know who started that? Do you want to know who started that? I don't know who started that. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, 
Probably. Yeah. She's, she's fucking the crazy. worst. Probably. Dude, I wish someone she, would shoot her. She's so fucking stupid. She, wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. This what? is the time what is that? right now to wow. watch your words. Whoa, Marie. whoa, whoa. First of all, <laughs> I'm just she, saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's lower grade level. No one's going to miss, but we don't want to get carried away. Uh, she said, I, I saw it all. I even saw the angel fold the flag up and, and, oh my God, and save him. I'm like, fucking, I hate that bitch. What kind of drugs are they selling in Pennsylvania? That's all I need to know. And then there's another story, which I, when I first heard it, I'm like, well, that's total bullshit. That's not true at all. Apparently, an officer climbed a ladder. First story I heard, he climbed a ladder, saw Thomas Crooks on the roof. Thomas Crooks turned, pointed the rifle at him. He got back down. Then he turned around and started shooting. Thomas Crooks is not a, a skilled shooter. There's no way he's going to turn his rifle away Sorry. and turn it right back and be able to hit the target that he hit. And to say that a cop saw him and didn't get on his radio and say gun, rifle, or something. No, immediately else after has radios. Immediately after he they ducked down, he started shooting. So as soon as they got up there to him, he started he pointed his gun at him, they ducked down, and then he immediately went for the shot because he knew I would but imagine he knows. That's, I don't think that's but... possible. He's not a sharpshooter. Yeah, we know that. Clearly he's not a sharpshooter. Yeah. Um but then the stories are conflicted today when Secret Service was saying, oh, locals were taking care of that area. And locals were saying, we weren't in that building. We were in the neighboring building. We didn't see him. And I knew that story was bullshit because no way a cop would not get on his radio and say, we have a shooter. There's just no way. Why would this not? Why would he not tell the others, hey, get Trump off stage or something, just something, but nothing. And, and then the other story I heard was that an, another officer actually lifted him up to look on the roof. I mean, come on, man. You know how heavy these guys are with all their equipment on? There's just no way. And how high that roof was, that wasn't happening. It wasn't happening at all. I, all, I, all I've heard was, if you see these videos from people that were actually filming outside, you could see him on the roof. You could hear them say to police, hey, there's somebody on the roof. You should go check what that kind out. Of a, what kind of event was it? It was, it, was a, it was a rally, presidential okay. rally. Is yeah. Where were you this Saturday? Another planet or <laughs> sleeping? Just napping in, all in day? my own world. Apparently, apparently, yes, <laughs> apparently. Uh, anyway, this is wild. Um, it's definitely gonna make his supporters now even more ape shit. But it's okay. Hey, you guys want to hear a conspiracy theory that I heard? Okay, so you know the shooting in Las Vegas when that Jason Aldean yes. was singing and that gets sharpshooter from up there. I heard that. The FBI actually was doing it on a truck. Like they were in black laying on top of a van and they were the ones shooting. I don't Wait, remember. You're talking about that. the Las Vegas shooting? Yes. Like it wasn't the guy up there. He was just like, no, the what fake. was the he purpose? Was... What, was what would the be the purpose? Number one, to number scare one. people for guns. They don't like scare... country music. No, because they were trying to make it like, oh, we're trying to um, we want to gun make control. guns bad. Yeah. Gun so control. it's a gun control thing. You don't need to do that to make guns bad. We 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 know. Like we're... guns are bad, okay. And plus that guy <laughs> that guy had like an endless arsenal in his room. You thought he was just he just we showed still up. Still don't it, know why the fuck that guy and did then, it. He it's a was doing it because total mystery. Right. Well, he left a note. From that movie, there's, there's just aces, nothing they didn't, didn't leave it. Smoking though. aces. It's from sure? smoking aces. You know when yeah. the um Alicia Keys yeah. or her friend or Tajma Tajma Perry or whatever the he sniper, sees common yeah. carrying uh Alicia Keys and she just goes crazy, so she starts sniping from the upstairs of yeah, the yeah, 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 room. Yeah. That's why. That's why. But you know what? Okay. Solved it. Right. You know what? You're right. That's it. You know what? Well, right. Yeah, you got it. You got it. it fill I us know. in next week about this I'm last so... this past weekend's thing. Man. Oh, okay. Long so what poops. happened was yeah. <laughs> what had happened was. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, no, that guy. Yeah. Anyway, Las Vegas. Yeah. And he had that dude had so much arsenal. It was nuts. That uh, yeah. crazy. Anyway, but... I don't know. I'm following oh, it closely. Wait. I'm very Question. interested in how this is all going to end up. Question. Okay, so what do his parents say? Say that one more time. What they haven't said say? anything because oh, they they, they they've asked him and they're like, we don't know what the fuck is going on. We're working with an investigation. That's the thing. People are like, oh, they're hiding something. No, they're not. They're listening to the the authorities who are telling them this is an active investigation. Do not talk to the press, and that's exactly what they're doing as they should be. Yeah, and it's his, it was his dad's gun, his AR-15. People want instant, what was it, AR? instant answers, like instant. Like, I know. and if they don't get them, it was they make this. them up. It was they the, make exactly. Them up. 
Oh, what it is was it? In this... the absence of uh, information, we make it up. Something like that. Yes, <laughs> and that quote. is the my <laughs> motto of hosting this show. Uh, Carlos, what were you saying now about <laughs> that um, makes sense. Tenacious D, Jack Black? Oh, Jack Black had to break up Tenacious D just to get away from the comments of Kyle Glass. Yeah, like, what happened? Break it up, did he? During a concert in Australia, Jack Glass, Kyle Glass, sorry was celebrating his birthday that night, and he said for his next birthday wish, he didn't want them to miss Trump next time. And, uh, <laughs> it did was he, did they break up, or did they just cancel the rest of their tour? No, he said that they canceled. Jack, Jack Black canceled the tour. I heard that. Um, he said he's canceling any other creatives with Tenacious D. He's, he's basically just separating himself from Kyle Glass. And Kyle Glass's oh, representation lame. dropped him today. Listen, he's trying Aww. to save his own ass. That's what he's doing. Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly that's kind of lame. That's of not course loyalty. He is because, and, that is, I agree. And that's what Jack Black should have done is he should have said no, First no, when Amendment. This, go when this happened, yourself. already there was people like, oh, there's, there's a couple, there's an artist that I follow on Instagram. And right away he was like, oh, Jack Black's a piece of shit. He said this during his concert last night. And he didn't say it. Kyle Glass said it. I but he's already Jack saying Black everywhere, yeah. Right. So he's already, oh, tonight I'm going to burn all my Jack Black movies and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, that's annoying. They're already paid for. Why are people so so crazy? Oh, my God. It is. It's ridiculous. And also, like, listen, I am not one of the persons, like, when people say, like, oh, I'm glad they're dead. Like, I think that shows really shitty personal character. But also, it is like this as I understand it, and I could be wrong because I, I mean, I don't have a research paper on this. The comment that he made was that night, so Saturday night. And when people are first given information, you have a knee jerk reaction, right? And a lot of people really hate Trump. So their knee jerk reaction to, well, I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm sad he missed. Like that is a lot of people's <laughs> yeah. first thought. And I don't fault people for that. You know, it's only like in the first, you know, couple hours of learning about it before you have a chance to really think about the implications. Like, what if he what if he had succeeded? What would that have meant for America in the long term celebration? What would that have have meant for the future of democracy in the United States? What did that have meant for the political tensions in this country? It would not be good. America, not only Trump dodged a bullet on Saturday, America dodged a bullet on Saturday. So I'm just saying I don't fault people for having that knee jerk reaction. But if you have it at this point, maybe you should examine yourself. You, that's a good point. I never even thought about like I because I just hate him so much. I'm like, oh, he's not going to be missed. But you're right. Like because the people on who people who love Trump are fucking wild. They are unpredictable. They you like I'm scared of them. Right. So like what would have happened? But also, at the same time, what happened after Lincoln got shot? Like, did what happened to the country? Oh, it was all over the internet. You couldn't fucking stop <laughs> that shit. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> you know, it's not. Yeah, you know what? It's not the same because that news doesn't sp- didn't spread as fast. It's right? not the same. It's apples it's not and instant. Oranges, it's not a, like I literally was watching. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I was on Twitter, and when it happened, it was on Twitter like two seconds later, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Someone just tried to shoot Trump. Yeah, Lafayette showed it to me, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" I mean, I'm not a Trump fan. I'm not. I don't hate him enough to go, man, I wish they didn't miss. All I kept thinking was, thank God he didn't get killed. That's what I kept. I was not only for him, because I don't think anybody should be taken. You know, it's just ridiculous. And then second, like like Laura was saying, if he would have gotten killed, all the chaos that fucking day, it would have been outrageous not been, even oh my God, just the day uncontrollable. just like on beyond okay since we're oh, making yeah, stuff absolutely. up what do you think what would have happened we're let's make up. it up yeah like what? we're making up the poop eating movies and oh we're making um, it up oh aliens would okay, have so invaded what and taken what would, over oh, the yeah. planet straight away straight i mean that's probably the it, best listen, thing that could have happened it, it, it would have been uh people basically oh we're gonna start civil war with no facts they don't need facts they just that's it there's no facts let's just let's just jump right down someone's throat that we think is that did this and that's that. And... Give them HPV. Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> in the but yeah, no. It's been a spiraling yeah. and also a continual, uh, a reinforcement of the rhetoric of if you're not with me, you're against me, More and less, just yeah. further yeah. and further down that rabbit hole. And 
I, I my hope, and this is a very rosy, rosy oh, good. Let's hope, hear it. that this kind of calms things down a little bit and gets away from that rhetoric of Trump is a threat <laughs> to democracy. And if he wins, this is death to America. Because that's the kind of thought that leads to people hating each other. And so I, I hope, I hope that this leads to a calming down of that and also more of a message of unity from Trump himself and their par- and their party, just so we can all just make politics boring again and we can just attack policies as opposed to saying you are this, you are death to America, you're going to destroy us, you're a racist, you're a misogynist, you hey, listen, hate here's gays. The thing. What is the common like, denominator? Let's get rid though? of this and what's, just talk about politics. What, what's the common denominator? Before when when it's Trump, it like <laughs> when Trump when politics were boring, it, he's the common denominator, right? Like you're right. It was they were boring. They were just two guys telling us about what policy they're gonna run. You just oh I like I like that. Okay, I'm gonna vote for that. And that's it. And yeah, now God you, forbid. you had somebody that ramped it up to the point where he likes to make everything personal. And, you know, call like he acts like a like a teenager, calls names and everything. Right? Oh, God, I hate listening to that guy's speech. I literally either way. Like, but, you are the dumbest motherfucker alive. Yeah, it's but, great. You know, I don't like it's great. Everything's the best or everything's the worst. Every I, well, OK, this, this <laughs> I word can imagine unity, I did hear about it. Like, talk people, shit. All He's the, a, ugh. All the Republicans are using the word. We want unity. We're we're not you. We want unity. But then right after that, they're like, we are not going to take this shit. Like they're already contradicting themselves. I don't. I saw a speech. There well, was someone the thing. Oh, I, okay. they're not. They, they're saying unity. They want unity. But like they're the ones that were separating themselves from like, well, I guess maybe we were both separating each other. But they're like unity, unity. But they want their kind of unity, not a common ground kind of unity. I mean, it's hard. You can't. That's the thing that we give this dichotomy of you're either Democrat or Republican. And one of us represents all of us. We're all fucking people. And we all lay somewhere in between. And here's a sense of like, who are you going to listen to? Are you going to listen to people on the Internet and who speaks the loudest and who gets the most likes and who gets the most comments? Or are you going to talk to your your neighbors, your fellow man and the people who are really around you? Because you're going to find it's a very different reality than the mm-hmm. one that's on Twitter. My neighbor's an idiot, so. <laughs> He, he here's the, to here's the crazy part. Uh, there are idiots, and that's the thing. Yeah. There are idiots out there. I know a lot of them. No, I want to hear what also her... a lot of really smart people out there. I want to hear what your neighbor said. Are you an idiot? Oh, he asked me what my nationality was, and I told him I'm white and Mexican. And he's like, oh, okay. Um, what did he say? He said something about, uh, are you sh- sure you're Mexican? Because there's other countries in Latin America. I was like, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I know I'm fucking. He's trying to make me feel stupid now. That like, is there's weird. more. There's more like because you know, because I when you see a brown person, you I automatically say that they're Mexican. I'm really dumb like that. And so he's trying to tell me, he's trying to school me that there are more countries in that area. But I'm like, wait a second, but I am Mexican. Like my my family's from fucking Mexico. Oh my god, he's so dumb. And then he also said, um, the human race. If you're racist, it means you hate the human race. And I'm like, oh, this conversation. No, that's wrong. Convers- if you're racist, you hate NASCAR. <laughs> So. Yes, that's exactly it. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, I don't bl- talk to my neighbors. <laughs> you just said you did. Anyway, Carlos, you were gonna say I... something. <laughs> I don't remember. No? Um <laughs> all I can say is that um when I saw Trump walk into the RNC, just video of it, this looked like a changed man. He looked scared. I could oh, see it in his, in his eyes. No, for real. In his eyes, just the look of he was kind of like thanking everybody for you know applauding and whatever, but Man, he's just he's lucky to be there. And I could just it I'm not saying he changed. I'm not saying and too maybe he did change tell. for a week, right? Yeah. Too too soon to tell, but you could just tell the look on his face that man, I'm glad to be here. I'm they, so glad okay, to be he, here. I, he did say, I'm just gonna it's just real quick as a follow-up to what Carlos said, and then I I'm I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> but Beyonce had the best record of all time. <laughs> but I did see quotes, and this is kind of what started this rosy outlook for myself that Trump had like a bunch of speeches set for the Republican National Convention. And he said the day after, not even the day after, I think like not even 24 hours later, he's like, I have to rewrite these. Like they don't feel right anymore. And that led me to be like, maybe. Anyway, okay. Okay. Right. So, to, okay. Have you ever been injured? 
right? And then when Remember. you come, this is a soccer thing, right? So if you come back from your injury at first, you're like kind of babying your injury, like say your shoulder came apart. And so when you go back into soccer, you're like watching out for your shoulder. You're like, oh my God, don't touch my shoulder. And then eventually you get over it and go back to normal. Maybe that's what he's going through. I feel like he's just scared right now, but he'll go back to normal. That's not going to fucking change him. He's, and the second thing, has anyone ever died that you were like, yeah, I'm glad he died. Like for me, it's Kevin Samuels. Like he's, who is Kevin Samuels? No idea. He's he's like, he's like uh, an alpha, alpha male guy, whatever. He's internet (laughs) idiot. Right. So I do know who you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. I actually do know. Um, Has has someone ever died that you were like, yeah, that motherfucker got what he deserved. Mm. (laughs) I've thought before, Mm. like, Ooh, I'm going to be happy if this person has died, but that person has not died yet. So I cannot Mm. confirm that I will feel that way. Bill Cosby. (laughs) I got you. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Bill Cosby's when I'm I'm okay with dying. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bitch. OJ okay. Simpson. <laughs> nah, I don't hate him enough. He's just oh. fucking retarded. retarded. OJ dead. OJ yeah, died like two weeks ago. Died of prostate ago. cancer. Yep. Last month. Mm-hmm. He got it from a prostitute. Oh, you know what? He actually... HPV <laughs> in the butt. HPV no, no, you in know the when butt. He died? You know when he died? Do you remember the episode when we were talking about Tom Jones and the OJ Simpson theme song? That's like maybe a month and a half two months ago he died that 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 night we were talking about his theme song <laughs> oh delilah <laughs> yeah. no it, was, it is delilah yeah yeah delilah like hey right. there delilah no no you're too no, young no, no, no. sorry about that apologize <laughs> i didn't i mean i i i didn't hate oj enough to be happy that he's dead i don't really don't know him like it didn't oh go into my registry to be like yeah good but i i wasn't like mourning and many like there's a lot of layers a lot of spectrum to that question and, right? you know yeah exactly like okay when jeffrey Dahmer died i was oh he fucking deserved it but you know okay but no nobody that dies i'm like i fucking you got him finally i'm like yeah, well, i don't know it's, nobody it's... i felt compelled to like do a little jig for do a How about little that? yeah a little dance for <laughs> right, right, yeah. right 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 yeah no no believe me for what happened on this past saturday it would have been the worst it would have been the worst just, it would have, and the, and the bad not, part is, is, is nobody's like they're really not giving two shits about the individual that did die. It's everything is God save Trump. Oh, like, I, what? what? No, I what? read like, his daughter's uh something that got spread around social media, like what she posted. And as soon as I read it, I started ugly crying, <laughs> like about Corey. I don't remember his last name because it's really hard to pronounce. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> forgive me uh, but it was really fucking sad and um yeah that's but the, trump did that's say he was going to attend really his funeral be... good he should yeah. yeah well um it's outdoors right, who knows we're talking about? Uh, it's okay you won't miss it. the guy you'll be all right there was one guy that was killed he was one guy was killed at the rally attempt. yeah he was Shot right killed. through the head yep Wow. Um, brain matter Absolutely everywhere wild. according to the er doctor that was right next to him at the time and also if you watch the video of the trump like you want you know the camera's obviously on trump you hear an ear piece piercing scream at some point and i'm like oh god i bet that's the fucking wife or daughter and it's just knife in the heart that's nuts we'll see we'll see when he gives a speech um you know if if again it is true i think his speech is going to be about unity harmony and then he'll come out a week later and be like they try to take me out better not like he'll just See? go right back spouting the nonsense and he'll be like, i don't oh, know man i don't know they try to take him out once he might be that whole paranoid now he might be like i'm not going outside no he, might... he feels invincible now he feels... or or not about invincible or taking the high road but um or i'm sorry not invincible or uh whatever you just said but maybe taking the high road the determining of like you know what i'm gonna be more than this but also okay last thing and then we can move maybe move on because we've been talking about this for a good long time i will say i am not a trump supporter i'm not a trump fan uh but that fucking photo of him right fist raised like blood over his face and the american flag in the background like that's a fucking badass picture (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna say. Just like, just unequivocally, like America, we fucking love some violence and we love some flags. You know, that's that's a fucking business. Picture. Just right? remember, that's a photo you find it like at the end of a war, right? You just won the war, and here's the winner. precisely. Yeah, yeah. yeah just yeah. remember, people, vote who you think's the best candidate. Yeah, that's don't all you vote need to because do, guys. 
for something like this happen because I've Some seen people, people online are... saying, "Oh, I changed my vote now." Because I'm like, really? Okay, now now let's hear about his policies because that's he's he's you know he's basically interviewing to run America. You know? Yeah. So I mean, he, just just vote. I mean, just well, that's another thing. Just vote. <laughs> exactly. Just vote. Marie, do you vote? Okay, yes. good. You send your mail in ballots. What you do? I did last time. I think. Email ballot. Is that what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> Did you text it in? You could text in too if you just call it eight eight eight. That'd be so great. American if Idol. I could just do Type Y <laughs> for. <laughs> right. Trump's number this week is seven two six zero. Yeah. So anyway, all right, we'll take a break here and we're talking a podcast. We'll be right back after. You that. ever wonder where to get cheap gizmos and gadgets and electronics? You want to know how to get things real cheap? Listen to my podcast. Boosted it. We got Nintendos, Xbox computers you need television sets you know the ones with the tubes no one wants to listen to your show tony it's really stupid i mean you know nothing about electronics and you know the show would be better if you weren't here but i had to bring you here because i'm married to your mother and she wants you not to be hanging around all those hooligans out there now shut up i'm trying to promote my you show you don't even know what a smartphone is i mean you're an idiot it does you know what you know nothing smart watch huh a what smart watch you know on your wrist watches on smart they just tell you time the smart one is reading the watch me Knowing the time. Idiot, that's what you are. What are, what are you talking about? You're stupid, you know nothing. Get out of here. You know, here. you need to just sit over there. I bought you a soda pop. I mean, you enjoy it, man. Didn't I get you some candy or something? Shut up, yeah. Shut up. Oh, anyway, the show's called Boosted It. You that's stole not it. what you think, but it's a great show for kids. It's a criminal. And, uh. It's a loser and a criminal. What is it now? You heard me. I, I hate you. I swear to God. I swear to God. Your mother. What about my mother? God bless her soul. She's not even dead. What are you talking about? I know she's not dead. Sometimes I wish she was dead. I mean, what? Anyway. I'm going to tell my mom. Oh, you're going to tell your mother no, that, I'm huh? I'm going to tell my mom you said that. You know, nobody likes you anyway. Everybody likes me. My mom Not likes even me. your father. Huh? That's my, why he left you. My, my father died in an accident, you son of a bitch. Well, he left you. Anyway, he wanted to leave. He left. So what? why you... That doesn't matter. That's not That's not right. The show's called Boosted It. This kid's a punk. You want to know about gizmos, gadgets, who's he and what? nothing. Listen to it anyway. It's on every platform. Anything you want to do. No. Uh, you just, can even buy a Radio Shack. Wait, wait, what, what do you mean Radio Shack doesn't exist? You're stupid. You know what doesn't exist? What? Tell me, huh? Your father. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha, punk. And now back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Laura, Marie, and I'm Lafayette. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, turn on notifications, tell your friends every Friday new episodes of Nerds Talking the Podcast, and also on YouTube at Nerds Talking Podcast. You can watch the show. You can see all of our faces. And you can, like... Touch the screen or wh whatever you you want to do. Marie your... presses her boobs up against your face, Lafayette. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's that's the what? special bonus episode. <laughs> what? I don't yeah. remember that episode. Oh no! Oh, it's filmed last. No, night. while the, while Marie watches the playback on YouTube, she presses her. Boobs oh, that's what she. Oh, face. that's what it is. She watches yeah, yeah, it back. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And then she like enlarges the screen. Oh, and then, so it's Lafayette's face. And then pauses it every time my mouth's wide open. I got it. Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. Such a good idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Things got weird. Great idea. So Michael Jackson, his mother sued Michael Jackson's estate recently for $600 million, saying that she should own the catalog of Michael Jackson's music. I agree. And Why? the state of she California said, no, you get nothing. Who owns the catalog of Michael Jackson? Actually, it's his kids. You know those three oh. kids that aren't really his kids, and uh, they've they've actually come out and said we ain't giving Grandma shit. They're his kids. Yeah, if you adopt them, up, they're your kids. They straight up said we ain't giving my Grandma shit. I was like, mm -hmm. damn. oh wait, damn. Those three kids are supposedly biological kids, right? They're mm -hmm. not biological kids. They're That's not biological. Yeah, prove they're it. Not. But, prove but it. They, but I, they are his kids. Whether well, they're his kids. He raised the kids. Like, they're yeah, his. Exactly. Whatever. Yeah. That's, what, that's the point I was trying yeah, to make. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I do know what you mean. But biologically, look, you're not going to find like any a... Jackson blood <laughs> no, in those veins. No, yeah, I there's agree. no Jackson in those veins. I agree. Yeah. But, I mean, if he was, you know, that's another guy. Not too bad he died. But if he was alive, you know, he'd be taking care of his kids. So he might be broke. He spent money like he was never going to run out. He was five hundred million in debt before the "This Is It" concert was supposed to kick off. It's crazy, dude. dude, dude. Who, who are we talking about? Who gave him that amount of credit? <laughs> just, <laughs> just thought it was a good idea. Just his property alone probably gave him that, and his catalog alone probably. Gave it's him that true, one hundred percent. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that special he did uh, on Fox? Remember when he was just walking through the store? I want that. 
I want that. Hey, I like that. Let me get that. Like everything, no matter what it was, he just said, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take four of those, five of those. And the guy interviewing was like, you know, that costs like 20,000 a piece. That's okay. I got it, man. I got it. That's <laughs> like, just sad. That just <laughs> track to me is sad. I'm like, he probably oh. doesn't know the concept of money because he they keep him so... People just feed him whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and plus, he probably thinks he has endless amount of money. You know, I'm Michael Jackson. Like, what are you talking $5 about? Five million dollars. That's an endless amount of money. Five hundred million. Five hundred million in debt. Well, he probably thinks five million is a lot of money. I don't think he was. Right? A, but like, I don't think he was a dummy. You know, I don't think he was a dummy. But uh, anyway, so there you go. His mother gets nothing from the estate of Michael Jackson. You uh, get nothing. So sad. You lose. Sad. Even the um court case. You don't pass go. You know, remember Finding Neverland? You guys watched that? Finding Neverland? I yes. never watched it. Oh, I don't so want good. to. It's so good. Anyway, um, the two individuals in it sued the estate recently also, and that case got thrown out. So Why? Uh, well, because there's too many contradicting stories. That's why. Yeah, you, they can't really prove anything. That's the thing. So it's hard to okay, prove. Okay, so I and saw the that. statute of limitations on yeah, sexual molestation yeah. anyway. A little too late for the party. I think, okay, so Wade, the dancer guy, yes. I don't necessarily believe him, but the other guy, I don't like, he's not famous. Who just oh, the other guy, it. I believe 100%. I believed him. I believed him. I believed him 100%. He yeah. looked genuine, but I don't believe the Wade guy. I believe the other guy because he actually had a ton of stuff. He had photos and freaking letters and all this shit and video and he was him crying and hella hard he was like he was sad he was like he was sad more than it. anything like he's like yeah. i want nothing from michael i wish he was here still like i miss my man lover anyway um sexual daddy we call those daddy that's all i'm gonna say sexual yeah, assault crazy. is complicated it, yeah it's no sad. if you watch that you can tell that he was really connected to him like like yeah like anyway so um Whoa, no, we got dark. Let's move yeah, on. No, well, no money for Mama <laughs> Jackson. That's all we know. No money for Mama Jackson. This week's movie review is The Watchers by M. Night Shyamalan. Is it Shyamalan Ding Dong's daughter? Um sounds right. He produced it actually. And wait, it, what's her first name and what's her last name? Uh her first name is M Knight. No, no. Ish Ishana? <laughs> Ishana Night Shyamalan. Ishana. Oh my hey, god! <laughs> Shyamalan Ding Dong. Yeah, hey Shyamalan Ding Dong. It's and Shana its movie Nine. stars Dakota Fanning. She's the star of the movie. Yeah, who we haven't seen really much in a lot of things recently. Because she's been um, in school. I, yeah, she did. She she, she quit acting or paused or whatever. Yeah. Uh she was she you know she can act so well, yeah. keep going Dakota. She can Don't act. Stop. She can act. Um, so we all watched it and we'll start with Laura. Laura, what was your take on The Watchers from M. Night Shyamalan's Offspring? All right. Um, I don't know if I wasn't in the proper mood to watch this movie. So you were drunk. <laughs> no, no, I was not mm -hmm. a drunk. It was oh, like in the middle drunk. of the day. And I just, I it had all the hallmarks of things that I should like. I like M. Night Shyamalan movies. I like the vibes. I even like fae stories, fairy stories, like the the story of fairies are not all like, you know, tink it's not Tinkerbells. Like, they're scary. They're terrifying. It's an old mythological Like in the labyrinth. Concept. Yeah. They're, they're actually really scary and it's always really interested me, but I was just kind of bored. I was continually going to my phone, scrolling through <laughs> it. Um, the stuff with her mom, that was really heart-wrenching. Uh, that one got me because anything having to do with kids. And I, I don't know. It's, I, like, it. yeah. I, I like seeing Galway. I thought that was cool because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ireland is fun. And I've been there. And I was like, I, I was there. I was there. I like you know? it. Wow. <laughs> you say it like all of a sudden, like, Just like halfway that. through the movie. I was yeah, there. I was yeah, there. You got Down Syndrome halfway through the, the movie. The very beginning Wait, hold and on. the very end. No, I was going to say the same thing. Like I, it, it looked really good. It was good all the way, like halfway through the movie, but then it just kind of got weird. Right. So just, it kind of lost me a little bit. Boring. It got boring. And, and the bird, fuck the bird. Like <laughs> yeah. drop yeah, the, the bird. bird. Yeah. Leave the fucking bird. And the ending was kind of lame. Pen. I was like, oh, like acceptance humans. We love you. You should just be cool. All right, I guess I'll just give up all this like eons of hate because one girl told me to. I don't know. I, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. 
I'm going to land squarely in the middle. Two and a half. Two and a half for the watchers from Laura. All right. All right. Carlos. That's generous. What did you take <laughs> on the watchers? Well, I was already disappointed by one movie this week. So going into this one and knowing that it was related to M. Night Shyamalan, I knew I was going to be disappointed. So I guess I wasn't Aww. disappointed. So knowing I was going to be disappointed, I wasn't disappointed. So it was stupid. Um, just the idea that anybody who went into this forest got lost. It, it didn't ex- really explain why. It just they just got lost. Like when Dakota left the the, the apparently there's some sort of magnetic something in this forest because her car shut down. Her phone started doing that weird thing you do when a magnet's nearby and a radio. And then she went to look for help. She turned around. The car was gone. What just happened? Why did that? Why did that happen? Why is it every time you go into a forest in an M Night movie, you get lost? I <laughs> think <laughs> turn around. I thought, yeah, you know what? I think they filmed this in the Blair Witch Forest. So then she gets out of the car and she just starts yelling, "I need help! My car broke down." I'm like, "Who's who's hearing you? My is car Yogi gonna come out of the woods? Hey, oh, that would have been good. Help. Give her some yeah. help." That would have been really good. Prevent forest fires. Oh, oh wow. Well, he would have showed up Smokey too. Smokey, Smokey the bear. <laughs> Smokey the bear. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, this woman shows up, this old woman, and then she takes off running, and Dakota couldn't catch her. I'm like, I would have caught this stupid old she woman. She would if she would have dropped the fucking bird. Oh, exactly. The bird. <laughs> yeah, you gotta right? save that bird. So, I mean, bird the bird go. made it through the whole movie. Uh, I know. Yeah. yeah I mean, Darwin, the watches don't get on the drop bird. kick that bird. But but as the movie went on and when it finally got to the twists, the stupid M. Night twists, which is based on a novel. So I don't know if the novel actually has like the coop that they were in to be watched and all the other stuff. But when I got to the twist, I'm like, okay, that old lady is one of these goddamn fairies. And I knew it. And she helped them and the way she was helping them. And then, but when it was, they finally figured out how to get out of the forest. And Dakota wouldn't drop that fucking empty cage. I'm like, what is more important to you? The cage? You already let the bird out. The bird's flying with you. It's following you. It's not going anywhere. And you still held on to this cage. I'm like, please let go of this cage. It's an antique that's worth millions of dollars. <laughs> oh it God. was a pretty cage, but still. He but what's funny is that it. so the, the kid Daniel's the hunter and he caught a crow and he broke the crow's neck because they're going to eat this crow. I'm surprised the bird pretty made bird. it as far as it did. Pretty like, bird. why didn't they kill him? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Tape the bird's head back on. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it to the blind kid next door. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Pretty bird. Oh, I will say, away. I when did they got li- out, I... I saw it coming a mile away. The old lady and I... I didn't think of that as so much of a twist. Me like, neither. It felt yeah. like just kind of like a, you know, a third act thing. Not so much a what the fuck, you know. Well, that's true. It really know. wasn't that big of a who gives Mm-mm. a shit. It was more of like okay, well, they... who gives a shit. But, um. Yeah, two and a half is... N- I mean, I, like I said, I didn't hate it because I was already disappointed this week and I was expecting a disappointment. So, so maybe two and a half is all right. Two and a half is all right. All right, Marie. What was your take on The Watcher starring Dakota Fanning by Ishana Shamalong Ding Dong? Um, well, like I said earlier, it was good up until it got weird and they met up with the other people in the forest. And that lady, like, I think the way that they set up the movie was that they kind of didn't want you to trust her, but also have some kind of empathy or like for her. So when the twist, the twist happened, they're like, okay, well, we kind of like her. So that's cool. Right. But what I was thinking was, I think that Dakota Fanning Fanning is going to be the next Chloe Sevigny because they look exactly like and they have really close mannerisms. And I'm like, I like this shit. And I love Chloe Sevigny. And so now I like Dakota Fanning. I didn't even know that's how you said her name. But what's, what's I will your... say, Go ahead, Laura, yeah. I did like Dakota the or lady. <laughs> I did like the lady who played uh, the old lady with the long hair. I don't know. something very striking about her. And I think she's a good actress. It's the hair. Madeline. Yeah, maybe it is. Oh, hair. Madeline. Yeah. Lee Harkin. Yeah. My uh, music mentor has that same kind of hair. She's 78, but she's got like a thick, full white head of hair. And it's like so noticeable. I ran into her at Target. And I was like, I know that lady. I know that hair. Is she a fairy? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, she's just like the, she's more like the crypt keeper. <laughs> Did you sing to her? <laughs> yes. Oh, please don't. Um, what, what was, would you give this? Yeah, what's score? your review? What's your score? Uh, I, I guess I'll just go with everyone else and get a, a two and a half. Mm. Tiebreaker, Lafayette. Interesting. Uh, this movie was Wait. this movie was not. It was just middle of the road. It just wasn't interesting. It was just kind of boring. And when it when it got to the so called twist part, I was like, oh. Invasions of the Body Snatchers, like nothing's original about this movie at all. Zero. The only thing that you made interesting was these are fairies. They're long limbed, scary looking fairies. But they're changelings. Just, yeah, changelings. Oh, like in Harry Potter, like the mermaids are ugly. Remember, like ah, just like that. Just you know what? <laughs> Correct. And then it just turned again. It turned into Invasions of the Body Snatchers. We want to take over your life because you owe us because you you fucked us in the past. Yeah, whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever i saw i felt what the end i was like and then you know what maybe i missed it maybe i got up get some who, who was the little girl at the very end look at the camera it was madeline. that was madeline oh that was madeline oh he was okay. keeping an eye on her but i didn't understand that I'm part really either sure yeah i don't know because they knew each other so why not just hang out with each other if you want to get to learn what humans are like just come hang out little okay. kid that's Unity. What I was well, why not just yeah, stay the old lady? Why like, don't you stay the old lady? It didn't make any sense. That's another thing. Stay the old. That's what threw me off. I was like, who's this little kid all of a sudden? I'm like, what? Anyway, uh, Lafayette, well, I have a question. Two and a half's good, I guess. I don't. Is it good though? No, two, two. Oh, it's, just, it's not. It's just not good. Two and a half know. is right in the middle. It's five. Two and a half. Uh, five. Five yeah, is the max. Know. They don't have two and a half. They don't have deserves two and a half. It's just middle of the road. Isn't it's not terrible. Know. It's not great. It's a movie. I wouldn't even say want, I want the Shyamalans <laughs> to stop doing movies. I don't need the daughter I to don't. take. The... I guess, let's okay, put it wait, this way. I have two questions. You I know, have two questions. Okay, hold on. You know how so, you know sometimes you'll watch a movie, then sometimes when you talk about it, it's better afterwards. You know when you talk like mm-hmm. that's what Long Legs is like. Like when you talk about it, mm-hmm. but you only talk about the parts that are like mm-hmm. when people ask what it's about. You're like, well, nope. okay, you know, it's not good, but I'll tell you then. But when you talk about this movie, there's nothing good about it. There's nothing I can nope. tell you that makes you go, mm-hmm. oh. That, because I can make a good movie. Matter of fact, Carlos and I talked about a movie recently where it was really bad, but then Laura's like, I got to see it now. Because we made it sound interesting. I can't do this with The Watchers. I can't tell you about... You like, can't do that with Long Legs. Yeah, neither. me neither. Look, I'm telling you. With Long Legs, at least I can make you make it sound like, oh, that sounds okay. Look, I know so, some listeners have even gave us feedback. They go see movies we talk about because they're so bad. They oh, no, don't see, see Long Legs. so bad about them. <laughs> Don't see long legs. I'm telling you. Well, until they edit the movie. Hate yourself. If they edit down, to, if they edit down to 30 minutes, I might watch it again. 30 minutes. If you go... <laughs> the synopsis. Matter of fact, <laughs> I forgot to notes. tell you, the movie's actually in uh, three like 35 minute segments. The long legs. Yeah, there's parts. Part one, two. Part and one, three. part two, and three. And then part four is it like makes we it fucked so you. Pretentious <laughs> and stupid. Like, by the way, <laughs> at the very end, the director comes care. on screen. Part four. Hey, sorry about that. And then the credits roll. <laughs> and you like, and you're we like, know you know how movies work, that fuckers. You don't have to put them into mm. three parts. We know their acts. We know the <laughs> narrative arc of performances. You don't need this. This is pretentious and because they were trying to do an artsy, you know, people artsy, call, artsy. I wouldn't like I said, I wouldn't call it Science and Land, but they're trying to do an artsy, suspenseful thriller, whatever. And it just whatever. Anyway. Two and a half, I guess, all around for the watch. Marie, you had two questions. I wouldn't recommend. I have two questions. First of all, Lafayette, when are we going to go see a crappy movie together? Oh, when the people when they make crappy movies. Yeah, we just, you guys constantly make time, constantly. Movies this weekend. I only watch good movies. What's okay, your second secondly, question? Um, are, is anyone here an M Night Shyamalan fan? Does anyone it depends like on the movie? movie. That's all. It always depends because a fair amount of his movies. Guess what? His last movie, I really enjoyed. Knock at the cabin. Which one was that? Movie. Oh, I Not loved Knock on the Cabin, Knock on the cabin Door. Shit. I thought Fucking it was good. Loved it. I thought oh, it was wait, is that movie. with the two gay dudes and the little Asian girl? Yeah. yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. see that. That was oh, on the list good. of psychological thrillers that I was going to give you guys. I do want to see that one. Don't look and don't read. Don't listen to the episode. Just I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you guys already did a thing on it? Oh, yeah. We're, we're past oh, you. Yeah, you guys are the past. worst. You guys leave me out of... You know, this was like last year, right? Yeah, this is like yeah. this is a while ago. <laughs> this is like episode 160 well, or something. Well, you guys didn't even <laughs> ask me to do the Barbie movie, you fuck. And that's like, that's what I wanted to do. Well, what's funny Barbie is that movie. when you told me, you sent me a text and you said, I want to do the Barbie movie. I said, oh, we talked about it already. But yeah, you can come no, on. I and you're like, oh, it. but I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> that's true. I still haven't seen it. 
Good. I still haven't Wait, time out. Oh, you still time haven't out. seen it. I just, I just can't sometimes. I just, unbelievable. unbelievable. I wanted to do the thing that we're doing now. Like, which one of us hasn't seen the movie? We've and pretty much I seen would... everything. I'm asking crazy. Person. That's true. One of us gave a fake review. You'll have to guess which one. Ooh. Anyway, the, any more questions, put, Marie? Are you going to put it on like the Spotify, the question, the questionnaire? Like, yeah. That's oh, you know idea. what? Answer in the comments on YouTube. Put it on Could Twitter. You, you guys which put one it on of Twitter. us didn't see the movie? <laughs> anyway, th- there you go. This movie's weekend. Only one's coming out. It's called Twisters. Oh, God. Glenn Powell. Is that a sequel uh, to Twister? It's not, a, it's not necessarily it's a, a sequel. sequel. It's a sequel. It's not, not a like, sequel. It's exactly no, it's... the same. It's exactly the well, same. Well, no, as I mean, it's just, it's movie. just, it's the same. It's the same. Is it Bill Paxton dead? Is he no, no, that's what I'm this? saying. There's nobody. I don't think there's anybody yeah, from the Bill original Paxton's movie in dead. it. So it's just it's the a same. Sequel. Yeah, but it's still the same one. She, it's the, the, same the Helen, it's the Helen same... Keller girl, the Helen, what's her name? Helen. <laughs> Helen, yes, Helen Wally's Keller. No, you're right, Helen Keller. <laughs> yes, Helen Bill Keller. Paxton, Helen they Hunt? separated. Tornado. Can you imagine Helen Keller? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Like, <laughs> oh, oh my god. What I'm trying to say, it's the same exact plot. It's the same exact movie. They're chasing the thing. She wants to put the little balls in the twister so that she could save the world. It's exactly the same. More balls. All the same. No, no, no. Here's balls, the thing. Balls, yeah, balls, yeah. Balls, it's, you, the the, balls, the balls. thing that makes it a sequel is that you can say it's in the same universe, timeline, whatever. I thought it was it. supposed to add on to the first movie. This is not an add on to the first movie. It's really no, just a like a redo gap. of the first movie. But it's how do you make a, redo, a sequel to that movie? I mean, two exactly. Tornadoes. Exactly. Three tornado. 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 Like you Sharknado. Can... Sharknado is more in Oh, than that's a good one. You, you can like literally that. film a, make a Twisters movie over and over. Twist that happens all the time over there. Like question. The and balls, there's... balls, 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 balls. <laughs> what is that a reference to? Is that 30 Rocks reference? Oh, I don't like, know. I just hear it and it's funny. Yeah. Someone Anybody? Google it. Hey Anybody? Siri. Hey Siri. What is the balls, 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 balls reference to? She won't know. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, wait, hold a reference is a relationship between objects in which one object designates or acts as definitely a means by which it. to connect to or link to another object. Oh, okay, it's definitely 30 Rock. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can all enjoy Looks like this Laura delightful. won something. This is my first royalty check from my summer dance jam, Balls. Balls, 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 balls. You know what the funny thing is too? It 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 sound it does sound like Lady Gaga song. Song. I fucking love Thirty Rock. It's my favorite thing in the world. Thirty Rock. You know, you guys, have you guys watched The Bear? Yeah, yeah. Anybody? No, I've is heard every, I, everyone uh, says it's great. So, the, yeah, it's really good. The Bear tied 30 Rock for the most Emmy nominations ever in the com- comedy category. You won't laugh that at show's one only thing. Like three? You a won't, it's not exactly. It's they like three keep, seasons, right? Yeah, yeah. They keep putting it in the comedy category for all these nominees he gets. It's, there's no, it's not a comedy, it's a drama. The whole thing is a drama. That's weird. There's no, yeah, it's stupid. It's, it's not a dramedy. No, well, they no, put zero Nicki comedy. Minaj in the Z- pop category and they put Lotto in the rap category. So yeah, that makes sense because Nicki roles? Minaj makes pop songs. So that does, does make sense. She also makes rap songs. OK, but her biggest hits are pop songs. Are they? The Look them up. Let's yes. ask Siri. No. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Her biggest songs are pop songs. And Lotto's Siri a rapper. Like, that makes sense. Lotto's a rapper. She should be in the rap Lotto category. is in relation to Nicki Minaj and Balls. balls yeah, and Balls. Balls. <laughs> That's such a funny response. Under your dong. <laughs> So anyway, that's our show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Anybody else have anything else before we go? Yes. Balls. Carl, oh, Carl, that's something. Hold on. I want Marie to explain some of these pronouns. She's a big pronoun progressive oh, person on the show. Go. Oh, my God. I said I was progressive. I never said anything about okay. pronouns. You're going to answer this shit, God damn it. This is a question okay. that came up on my profile Ooh. at work. I had to fill what out this question. What the hell is that thing? Oh, <laughs> shit. Which pronouns do you prefer? Uh-huh. All pronouns? Uh, yes, all of them. Ask me. Ooh. He, him, his. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, she. Mm. He, they. Oh, I like that one. My name only. Oh, that's a good one. She, he. Okay. Mm-hmm. She, her, hers. Hers doesn't make sense. Okay. That's the. No, that's she, the they, typical. Uh-huh. They, he. They doesn't make sense. They, them, theirs. Those don't make any sense. They, she. She, she, she makes Here's sense. Here's where I get thrown oh, this for is a good. fucking loop. They, zers. What the fuck is a ze? They, her, Is German. 
Zay, Zer, Zay. They do sound German. You're right. It does Zay, sound... her, hers. You apply for a job what in Germany. Did you make this <laughs> up? I'm legitimately, you must have made this up. No, this came straight from my company's website that I had to fill this out. Oh, my God. That's why at the bottom I put decline to state. Because if you can't figure it out by talking to me or looking at me, then go fuck yourself. Don't talk to me. And then it Whoa. says my pronouns are not listed. So clearly there are more than just these. All right, I, looked it up. I have looked pronouns. it up. I have looked it up, people. What is it? They is just use is used instead of he or she. It's a general. Then what is they? Okay, what is they? Yeah, instead of saying they because no, that sounds they, like there's multiple of them, you could say they or zer. So it does like yeah, that makes sense because I get confused when people say that doesn't they make and sense. Only you can't person. just throw a bunch of fucking letters together and go. This is a pronoun. Yes, I can. All right, here is zer. Do what okay. I want. Zer used instead of him or her, specifically referring to an individual that is a non-binary. There you go. Well, I mean, I think we figured that out. (laughs) No, no, but basically what it means is it's literally just generalization. Oh, no, no, just say Zay. What? Yeah, yeah, just say Zay. What's your fucking name? That's what I want to know. Say Zay. Say Zay. So basically, it's the same as... um, all pronouns up top. <laughs> yeah, I like. I I really don't see the difference. But also the he slash she, like which one is it? Like that's right, they're, they're it depends on if it's Tuesday Three. or if it's Wednesday. <laughs> there you go. Good call. Like, how are you? Like, how are you supposed to code your like automated messages from? Right. You know what I mean from from workday. That it's like if it's on a Tuesday, call them he. If it's on a Thursday, call them she. If well, it's a Friday, they that. want to go by. But then you have the other one down the list, like she he. Yeah, yeah he, she, exactly. She, and then he. Friday, on Friday, it's casual dress day. It's casual pronoun day. So we just go by all pronouns. But we'll go by Zay. Whatever That's you're we'll feeling. Go by Zay. Yeah. Everybody's Zay on Friday. Zay Friday. Just call me Zed. Zay Zed. Day. Yeah, Zed Day. I just think it's funny because, again, if what if you like, oh, no, she might know. She turns around. Theirs might know. Wait, oh, so shit. What? Sure, you're <laughs> like, not making this up. I'm still not 100% certain. I mean, it is, is a screenshot directly. Neither am I. It hey, does listen, look website. like it, a listen, screenshot, but I'm does, still skeptical. It does pop up. The, the Zay, no, the Zer, the Zers. It's legitimate. I mean, I'm it's sure. people just, oh, I can't believe it. Don't listen. share it. This is a this, publicly either shared. One, <laughs> do not share no, it. You're this, either. Oh, we already shared it. We but no that. matter how you identify, okay, if you're a guy that, you know, wants to be a woman, whatever. Then you're a she, and that's that. We're done. You you got like that's it. You're good now, right? Are you satisfied with that, or are you not satisfied with that? Like, what if you can't you be non-binary? Explain if, it to if me. If he non, if you transition from man to female presenting, you could still be non-binary. You can be as non-binary okay, as you want. Yes. It's not about that. The English language delineates he, she, and if I can't tell, I will say they. Like the, li- if the language tell. changes. The language it's changes true. as language it goes. Language does on change and as it goes. But did you see how many options were listed on that page? How the sure fuck did. could anybody figure that aren't, out? Aren't there 70 pronouns or something like that? There's like 72 it's actual no, no, that's pronouns. Genders. 70 genders or uh, whatever. Genders. Fuck right off. Yep. Just, I thought yeah. you said opinions. Right Actually, that's 70. a gender too, Laurie. 71. Oh, can I be that one? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck right, right off. off. That yeah, would definitely that's... be my gender. <laughs> no, I just also mind your business. That that's... would be oh, my, that's gender. A good gender my jokes. Yeah. You know, it's my just again though. Business. There, listen, if Marie said, "Well, what if you're transitioning to a female by appearance only?" Okay, well, don't you now want to be recognized as a she? Then is that because that's your goal? Your goal is to be a or woman. Or you just want to be confusing and make everyone around you maybe maybe. Comfortable yet because you haven't like you do want to do this you feel this way but it's hard to accept it because your family doesn't accept it society doesn't accept it so you're well, trying to like you're confused like that. themselves okay, wait, they're wait, confused but, themselves but, well, but, why, why do I have to cater what I say to you like okay. just let it be that's just another thing okay fucking deal with it you're confused as somebody that's trying to you know transition or whatever it is you're trying to do. But you're showing us that you're now, oh, hey, I knew you used Greg. Now you're Tiffany. Oh, don't say Greg. <laughs> Out of all the names, you said Greg. I don't know. Why? What's wrong with Greg? That's, that's something good. Uh, yeah, who's he's Greg? He's not Lafayette. He's not Lafayette. Who the Wait, hell is Lafayette, Greg? I have a question. <laughs> Lafayette, oh, you're getting jealous? Are you getting jealous? Oh, no, my God, that's so no. cute. <laughs> I think it's weird. The, 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 Wait, the, how it, like, Lafayette, triggered how you. tall are you? I have a question for you. How tall are you? 5'11". How tall are you, Carlos? 
I'm six two. Oh, okay. Just wondering. How much? How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? Who? Love it. Oh. That's a rude question. That's a rude. I, oh, uh, I, I've never. No. <laughs> okay. So when I'm, I didn't. When I met Johnny, I was not expecting to meet Johnny the way that I did. I was like, okay. First of all, Carlos saw me. I was really fat. He's never seen me like that. I did not expect Johnny to be as big as he is. And so I'm hey, just wondering. I've never seen hey, Laura in person, and I've never hey, seen Lafayette in person. I'm I fat. Wonder. Okay, I hide it well, but I'm fat so don't ever be surprised i never want to be <laughs> no, a topic I'm... of conversation and she's fatter than i thought she was I'm just, no, but I'm just trying just to wonder. set the I'm bar wondering... she's fat okay uh, but but you've been losing weight right i have but not not enough to not be fat i'm still fat <laughs> okay but well, when that but laura when you transition to larry should i call you <laughs> he or she I'm called Mind Your Business because I am also going to share a screen again. Is anybody familiar? What if you were Larry? I would... This wait, wait. Is that? Anybody familiar? Oh yeah. Mind Joe's. This mind is what your is your business. Seventeen eighty-seven. Mind Your, mind your business. business. This is one of the first cor- currencies of the United States. It meant and not mind your own. It meant business. to mind That's it, not, like to like. Some- to mind your business, like grow your business, like yes. mind, like that's, that's what exactly it what it meant. Exactly. But to oh me, God, that's funny. <laughs> mind your business, like literally, like you worry about you. Do not worry about anybody else. Oh, here mind you go, Laura. Just to show you that it's real. Like, put- are you yeah, trying to tell me to mind my own business so I don't know what Lafayette looks like? Ah. <laughs> yeah, Zay. I don't know. Well, there you Carlos go. is showing us something now. Uh, it's basically showing me all these different. You need to block this out. Just for, long story like, short, I'm, a I'm lot in of... HR. You yeah, need as an to block HR person, yeah, you can't out. be showing this on screen. No, um, oh, the URL. Oh, yeah. Nah, you need to... yeah. Long story short, uh, a lot of genders <laughs> to choose from. So pick one wisely. Makes your choices, and uh, I'll blur it out just for you. Once you pick you one, do I'm not go out back, for you, sir. Okay. Don't go back on the one you. Why? Pick. Why can't you go back? First of all. We can't You're, hear anything. Laura's so loud right now that she's so like <laughs> oh, upset. I'm so high pitched. <laughs> anyway, um, God damn dog outside. What are people? What about voice. detransitioners? That's different. Again, once they pick their final transition, the he, she's? once they pick he, their final Pokemon status, she, <laughs> okay, once they final to the final Pokemon, that that's what they are. Then that's it, right? Or or can they go Yo, back? This baby spit take all over my keyboard. <laughs> Again for like the third <laughs> time tonight. Pokemon. Anyway, there you go. Eminem album came out this past week and he offends everyone. So go check that out. The Death of Sun Shady. He offends blind people. He fly he defends midgets. He offends trans. Who cares? Uh, he offends uh what do you call he's it? Doing it for attention. He's just doing for Christopher attention. Reeves. Uh, he's doing yeah. it for attention. I bought everybody well, who ever Reeves, mentioned his that's name a pretty is doing it for far attention. Far callback, man. Oh yeah, what it's do you funny mean to say about Christopher Reeves? That's like twenty years. Oh, ago. Oh, he hates Christopher Reeves. Why? Yeah, I think I remember him talking about him in like the first or second it's a, it's album. Just, I don't it's remember just which a, one. It's just a joke. It's a, something, it's something a like Christopher Reeves. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Just like that, he said his name. <laughs> <laughs> I got the cadence right. Not at all. Yes. Anyway, absolutely. um. It's it's a it's a long running joke where Christopher Reeves, you're not you're not Superman, you're you're in a wheelchair, you know. That's like uh-huh. yeah, yeah, it's a running joke. Hilarious. But you got to hear it. Basically, the album is Eminem and Slim Shady going at it, and Eminem saying, "Why the hell are you so mean to people?" And Slim Shady saying, "Shut the hell up, retard." And then they go at it like the whole album until one of them dies. It's the death of Slim Shady. So there you go. So it's a concept album. So Slim mm-hmm. Shady is the one that's. You know, throwing jazz at everyone and he Eminem's stole, trying to like, a construct yeah. album. He stole that idea from DPR Ian because DPR Ian has a few like uh, personalities and he uses that, uses his personalities to make concept albums and whole stories. He stole that shit from DPR Ian. I mean, Slim Shady has yeah. been his character forever. Oh, I don't dude. know. What Art is but he's stolen. It's like such a Zeke guys thing. Like, it's not a very original idea. I mean, somebody's, or like, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of there's multiple personalities. Like yeah, that, you that's know not original. I mean? Like that's not like the really idea like that we're the only stealing. podcast available. Yeah, like the idea yeah. that the Watchers was a we good movie. Are. Yeah, what and is yeah. that other podcast? The one that we stole the logo from. What's oh, the name of that uh, one? Nerd Society. No, salty no. nerds. Salty, salty nerds. nerds. Wait, is that salty true? Nerds. Yeah, 
Well, we not that we stole, stole it, but we have a very yeah. similar Wait, logo. Tell me, tell me. That's, what happened with that? We already have episodes this to you? talk about Did they Listen, cool? long story but short. I'm just saying nerds sitting around and talking about something is not like a stealing concept. Like, no. It's just and we may have been the first, but there have been many imitators. Correct, Laura. Correct. <laughs> there you go. Many imitators. Correct. Exactly. Correct. <laughs> and a quick, Marie, quick story. Carlos hired somebody to make our logo. Apparently, that guy just went online and copied somebody else's logo. That's oh much my it. god! I hope you made it look better. Like, made it look better. He made it look much right better, table. but he just copied their logo. Yeah, the, I don't care. I don't. That, okay, that's that's le- like legit copying. It's not like borrowing ideas or like uh, co- what do you call that when you put things together? But or since whatever. you missed I, out, you you someone's be fucking quiet. Hey, I think hey. you need to be quiet for legal reasons. We hey, don't sin- but since you missed out, Marie, since you missed out, they were on our show. They were on our show. They were on our show. Yeah, yeah, we had fun nice. with them. Like, we wait, just, and so yeah, did yeah. did they say anything to you? They, no, like, they oh. thought it was funny. They thought it was hilarious. Oh, it was they, funny. They we had like a whole was... Twitter war. It was yeah, funny. yeah, not yeah. We didn't have a Twitter war. Their fans were talking shit about us because again, <laughs> I love the, it. The most sincere flattery or something. I don't know. Yeah, something fandoms. Like that. You guys. Have anyway, fandoms. that's our Thank show, you. everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, stay safe out there, and um, you know, watch what you say to a Zed, a Zer. Yeah, she, her. Excuse me, Zerg. Wait, wasn't he, wait, wasn't he the bad guy in uh Lightyear? Zerg. Zerg. That's right. Uh, my that's my pronoun, Zerg. Well, Zim. Oh, Zim. Zim. That's right. Vader Zim. Zim. Yeah. Vader Zim. Yeah. Good one. All right. I'm well, just gonna start making happen. up pronouns. That's all. Just cartoons. That sounds like what we're doing. No, I'm just throwing cartoons. a couple letters together, and that's a new pronoun. <laughs> Call me Quiggly, but. You balls, quickly, balls, but. balls, 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 and, and balls, 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 Marie balls, 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 I like it. Wow. Like Mine's it. Bingo Bongo. So there we go. That's a show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Nerds Talking, the podcast, or as we are now know, Zers Talking. And that's our show. <laughs> so for Laura. Goodbye. For Marie. Bye. For Carlos. Bye-bye. And I'm Lafayette. Catch you next time on Nerds Talking, the podcast. Balls, 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 balls. Immediately, I was like, it's 30 Rock. I know it's 30 Rock.